Hey guys, today I'll be talking about the vampire attack. So I want to talk about how Sushi Swap took away the liquidity from Uniswap. And I found that interesting and I'm just talking about the mechanism. I'm not going to go into the story of it too much. I'm just going to talk about what explicitly that happened. Before we get into it, I want to discuss a bit about Uniswap. I have previously made a video on it. If you guys want to check that out, you can do that. But I'll also give a small recap here. Um, so it does not have any order books to begin with. Uh, there's no concept of order books. It's more of liquidity pools. So people bring all of their tokens, whatever it might be, maybe Ethereum or Bitcoin. So let's take that as an example. If you have Ethereum and Bitcoin, you take that and you put it in the liquidity pool and somebody who is trading Bitcoin and Ethereum, they will have to pay a small fee and that portion of that small fee will come to you and you are incentivized to put your Ethereum and Bitcoin to provide the liquidity and they are incentivized to use it because uh, it might be a smaller fee than maybe Binance, for example, which is also a centralized exchange. Let's go over the step-by-step -step mechanism of how Uniswap pro uh, liquidity provider works. Uh, so you take you t take your tokens and such as Bitcoin or Ethereum and Ethereum collectively, you put it in the liquidity pool. When you put it in the liquidity pool, you get issued a liquidity provider token. Once you get the liquidity provider token, you can stake that. And once you stake that, you will get some Bitcoin and Ethereum back, for example. Uh, now, SushiSwap did things a bit differently. Um, they actually allowed you to take your Uniswap liquidity provider tokens and actually put that in a liquidity pool in SushiSwap. And then on top of that, they would give you Sushi liquidity provider tokens and then you could stake that to earn Sushi. So the difference over here is that you are earning in Sushi and you are not earning in the currency that you put in. SushiSwap had found a way to get liquidity onto their platform without really having to get new investors in. And people who are on Uniswap could access, easily migrate, and use SushiSwap to get higher rate of returns. But their daily returns were just in Sushi. So if the price of Sushi goes down all of a sudden, now they might have lost their revenue. The main incentive for a person selecting a decentralized exchange would be low fees, low, uh, high volume, and for liquidity providers would be high APY. So given all these factors, Sushi was looking very attractive for a while. The creator of SushiSwap, Chef Nomi, and according to his Twitter account, basically owned 10% of all the Sushi tokens. And one fine day on September 4th, he decided to sell a lot of them, about 10 million dollars worth and that rapidly decreased the price of sushi tokens so now the people who were earning in sushi daily their apy decreased drastically and that made them lose the trust in the platform technically what uh, nomi did wasn't anything illegal but it does reduce the trust of the community in the project a lot of new projects came up after that uh, such as pancake swap and uh, hot dog swap but i haven't really followed up on what they're explicitly doing. Um, I know SushiSwap still, the developer, there are more stories about him returning back the money and stuff like that, but I wasn't really interested in that. I was interested in how he pulled off the strings, how he was able to get the liquidity without, um, and how he was able to perform the vampire attack on Uniswap. Uh, Uniswap is still the most preferred exchange for most people, including me, um, but there will be um, more exchanges upcoming and they might have different mechanisms of uh, incentivizing liquidity providers and we'll keep on seeing what they do next. So thank you. I hope this was informational to you guys and if you guys have any suggestions of other videos that I can make, uh, please let me know and if there's any information that you think that can add value to this video, let me know and I'll be happy to read that. Thank you.